Stamper's Depfelder here. Welcome back to my studio. I always love having you stop by for some craftiness and today is no different. Today is going to be part two in a series of watercoloring. Um, as I've explained in the first video, I'm not an expert at this, but I love doing it and I love bringing such happiness to people when they get these cards. So that's what makes me happy. We're going to do pans today, but before we get started, I just want to go over really quick what you're going to need and that is your watercolor brushes and I like using these three. I really encourage you to watch the first video just so that you can see what I've done with all of these things, but I do use three different sized brushes, one, four, and six. I also use um, a little a little tray, a little paint tray right here. Nothing big, nothing great. Um, you can find the link below. Um, but I use this for my water. And then I always have something by my water or um, by my set um, that I can add water to. So just one of these little quick things. Again, there's a link below. There's all different kinds. Um, I use this one. I have a different brand. Um, just something that you can kind of just fill up your little ink trays really fast when you need them or refresh them. I also use a waterproof ink and that is the teaspoon of fun ink that I use but you can use any ink that is waterproof I like the little one because I use my uh, mini misty um, all the time when I'm watercoloring and um, I like this because it doesn't get all over I can just um, really control where it's gonna go so I use the teaspoon of fun ink again the link is below but make sure you use anything that you can use that is waterproof all right uh, the next thing that you might want is a little palette and I'm not going to use it so much on this one but I do use this on some of my inks um, and my watercoloring and this is to mix mix and blend um, just a flat palette so we're gonna we're gonna be using that later on down the road and then we're gonna need paper of course and I use um, a, a nice nice grade paper so that um, the coloring comes out really really good and um, that makes a difference I've said before you can use it on regular paper it just doesn't blend all right so you're not going to get the same look um, and you can't use a lot of water so I strongly suggest using watercolor paper for this all right and then what I also want to show you is we have a starter kit for watercoloring and in this kit has a lot of the things that I just showed you it has some beginning markers, it has your paintbrush, it has some uh, blocks, it has um, an ink palette down here, it has our teaspoon of fun ink, and um, it's just a good starter kit. Um, but again, you can collect your own things and put them in your own kits. All right, so let's get started. I want to just bring in a couple of cards to show you. This was watercolored. I also did it in another version with um, my... Uh, with my watercolor um, pens. Um, I've done it with the pencils. I've done, just like with this one, I, I actually love experimenting to see which ones I like the best. And this one I started and I'm gonna show you a little bit more today. Um, again, you can use everything and anything that you want. So to just go over what we've done in, in video one, um, we did this card right here, but we did it in the purples. So let me just show you what I mean by that. So here we go. We've got this little guy right here. All right. And that's the one we did in this one. I'm going to actually take and use that again. So that's the, the card that we did. And then, um, so that's the card we did with the pencils. And I'm using the stamp set, the tulip stamp set. You can get it either just by the stamp or with the combo um, piece, which means you've got the, uh, the dies to go along with it. All right, so that's the one I'm gonna to use today. I am also cutting out all of my um, pieces just to be consistent with the same die. I love this die. Each and every single one has a different design on it. I love it. And um, it also comes now in the round one, which I love also. All right, so like I said, this is the one we did with Strictly Pencils and Water. And let's get started on a couple of other different things. So let's put the words on this one first, and I'm gonna bring in my little mini Misty for that. Um, I'm going to use two sayings with it. I'm going to use the blessed and you are ama an amazing friend. And I'm just going to add it to this piece right here. All right. So let's just bring it in. Add. And the reason I like to use the Misty is because this is such um, textured paper that when you stamp it the first time, um, you don't always get, um, oops, I got it upside down here. Um, you don't always get a good 
uh, image the first time. So that's why I just like to have the mini Misty. All right, I've got all that lined up. I don't touch those unless I have, whoops, I don't touch those unless I have gloves on, so I don't want to actually touch them. Now, the other thing I've noticed, um, because I'm so new at these clear stamps, and you know they're not my favorite, but um, we've got to use them. I want to just show you something that I've come to learn, and that is when you're using these stamps, and clear stamps do not clean off really well. But what I found is if I take my clear ink, ink this up with my clear ink first okay this is my wow ink and then i take my black ink and stamp it over it all right you know i'm going to do this a couple times so it doesn't matter all right and we're just going to take and make sure everything is all lined up ink it down Let's do it one more time. That's not too bad, but let's do it one more time because I like it nice and dark. And I'm doing this now with all of my clear stamps. Unfortunately, I've ruined a couple of them to start with, but I love this because um, I can go back and I can just wipe off my stamp and it stays clear. All right, so now what we're gonna do is put this aside. That's the piece we're gonna work on right now and let's get started so we need your palette we need some water in there and i usually put a couple of uh douses of this in here all right if you don't have one of these little palettes you can always use um just some little containers that you have in the kitchen um, or take some uh solo cups and just cut off the tops and make little tiny palettes you can use whatever you want um you just want water close by I'm going to take my number four brush because I just love my number four brush. And what we're going to use today is our pans. Now, I like the Alt New pans because they have such vibrant colors in there. All right. So I have my little paint palette that I use um, to give me just some colors. And you can just email me if you need that. Um, but what I like to do is to just uh, keep that handy so that I can um, use, uh, see what colors I'm going to be using. All right, so I'm going to take and put this right up here like this and have this right here. And I think I'm ready to get started. So what I like to do with these little pans is to, um, and I'm going to tell you a little secret. Um, these are my video pans. If you saw my real ones, you would know that I'm a true artist in watercoloring. Just kidding. But they're a lot messier than these. But I like to keep the ones that I'm showing on video just really kind of nice and neat. All right. Let me see if I can get more of these in here. All right. So now what we're going to do is let's do these in some pinks and reds because today is going to be about a red day. So I'm going to take my water, add a little bit of water to my, my flower here. All right, I just like to, uh, what I call condition the paper. All right, get it ready. It's absorbing some of the water. All right, and I always put down a um, beginner or starter color. All right, so we're gonna do this, leaving some white in there. Water, lots of water. Okay, Whoop. lots and lots of water. Now, if you make a mistake, that's not enough water. You also want um, a paper towel so that you can blot everything off. Okay, so if you get something too dark, oops, let's see if I can get that to stay down there. Okay, so if you get something too dark, you can actually go back and erase it or lighten it up by adding more color. All right, so that's what I'm gonna do right there because I made that a little bit darker than I wanted it to. Even though we're gonna add more color to it, um, you can actually take and add color to it, all right, or take it away like I'm doing right here. You can even blot it with your paper towel. You see how much lighter that is? I'm happy now. Um, and then just keep taking and adding water to this. All right. All righty, so there's our base coat of the pink. I'm gonna try to get these in here so you can actually see the colors that I'm using. All right, can I get them both in there? Yeah, I guess so. All right, so now we're gonna go in and we're gonna make it a little bit darker. So I'm gonna take some of this pink that's right next to it. Okay, so I used cotton candy and now I'm gonna go with the um, coral berry. Um, if you need to know this, on the bottoms of these pans, 
um, is the name, okay? But it's also on that little grid that I that I showed you earlier, all right? And then just email us at teaspoonoffun.com and um, we, can, we can send off that little flyer to you, all right? So now what I'm doing is just adding a little bit more. This is gonna be a little bit darker, so I'm gonna start out slow. Whoa, way too dark, all right? I'm gonna just take and just keep blotting as I go, but you see how you want it to be darker on the bottom than it is on the top. And then I'm just gonna kind of scrub in the color. All right, I am a scrubber. So let's just grab some of this, some of that, and way too dark. So I'm just gonna lighten it up again. We will go back and darken this up, but for now, in the layers that I'm doing, I want them to be nice and nice and light, all right. But I'm kind of also kind of scrubbing it in so that it, it uh, so that it lightens up as we go along. You want it to be darker on the bottom than it is on the top, or near any of the little crevices, all right. See how I'm just kind of putting in the crevices, and always remember with watercolors you can go back in and erase, all right. Do you see how it's already starting to kind of um, give it dimension? Uh, you'll see that right here, um, we're getting darker and darker at the bottom. I'm gonna go back just a little bit more. If I just colored this one color, it's gonna be totally flat, all right? But by adding different colors and different depths, it's gonna make it look like it's all different, uh, all different layers. And that's what you're looking for in this watercolor piece. Now, each and every video that I'm gonna do for you is gonna be very different, and it's gonna give you a different look, all right? So just remember that as we're going along, that things are gonna look a little bit different. Now, to make it pop even more, we're gonna go even darker. Instead of going to this color, I'm gonna go over to um, this piece right here. Let's try, let's try this one. All right, let's clean this off. Let's try this one right here, all right? This one is very, very dark. Now, you know on my last piece, I used um, some blue, and these are um, to make things pop even more than what they already are. And I might even do that on here. We'll just look as we go along, all right? Do you see how I'm getting them right in the, the just the crevices, just to make it so much darker? Now, I'll blend afterwards, but let's get some of this color right on here. There we go. I, and you'll also notice that I'm not adding as much water yet. All right, we gotta wait till we blend. Now, <clears throat> if I made a mistake and went outside the lines right here, all right, um, it's okay because it's a watercolor piece, but if you're just not happy with that, um, and you're gonna see me doing that a lot in some upcoming videos, but if you don't want it to happen in this piece right here, just take a clean brush, all right, clean it all off, and then just watercolor it out. It's pretty darn cool. We also have an eraser for that. Just check the, the link below, but we have an eraser for that. All right, so now let's take and start blending. So my, my pen is, or my brush is not totally wet, but it's not totally dry. And here I am gonna scrub it back in again, all right? And what I'm doing is just blending the colors as I did with the watercolor pencils, okay? And I'm leaving a lot of the white because that also gives it dimension, all right? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down from the top a little bit, add some water, and scrub, all right? Now the white piece is on the fattest part of the petal. You see right here? All right, so let's, let's grab a little bit, little tiny bit of this right here, and there we go. Now, this is, I don't know if you can see it or not, I did get a little piece out of the outside, okay? So what I'm gonna do is clean my brush off, and I wouldn't do this until the very end, but I just wanna show you what I mean. I'm gonna take and I'm just gonna clean it off, all right? So just take your brush and clean it off. Perfect. All right, so now let's just keep continuing to scrub these colors in. 
And like I said, I have been cranking these off and sending them. During this pandemic, I've been trying to send out as many cards as I can. And this one is just such a fast one that we can do. All right, so I'm gonna let that dry for a little bit and I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna do my, my leaves just as I did with the other ones. All right, I'm gonna take and I'm gonna add a, a bottom layer first. All right, I just, I just like making um, a base coat and not necessarily as dark as this one, but I don't know, it just helps me out because then I've got something underneath everything. Oh, that's a little too dark. Remember, if it's too dark, you just go in with some water and I'll just show you what I mean by this, okay? That's really dark and it's okay because I'm gonna blend it with, um, I'm gonna end up blending it with the greens, but um, I just wanna make sure um, that I don't have it too dark to begin with. So I'm just wetting it and now I'm gonna blot it. Look at that, see? How, how, how it lightens it right up, just, just really good. All right, I'm just gonna add a little bit more just to show you again. And making sure I'm not taking a wet side. And you see how you can, so you can fix mistakes on these like crazy. Alrighty, so now we've got our base coat there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with my greens. I'm gonna go with the lighter green first. So let's get some of that yellow off of there. And you see how I'm just kind of never swoosh like this because you're gonna end the you're gonna ruin the bristle. Just always kind of round it and it gives you that nice little point back. All right, so let's take this, grab this. I hope you're you're coloring with me. So many of you already purchased this set, so um, I know you can color right along with me so you can stop this as you're going along. There we go. You see how it all just blends together? That has to do with the paper. So if you were using regular paper, like I said, you could earlier, I, I told you that you could, it's just not gonna blend like this. It's just gonna kind of sit where um, you put the, 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 uh, the watercolor, all right? And then we'll go down from here. All right, I still leave a lot of the yellow, a lot of the white. Nope, put it in the wrong one. There we go. All right, let's get back into the green. Okay, and then the same thing here. Now this one doesn't have a lot of layers or leaves that are over the top of it, so this one's gonna be pretty much lighter. All right, now we need to go to the darkers. So I'm actually gonna go to my darkest green, which is this one right here, adding a little bit of water as I go and just laying the color in it first. Okay, and I'm doing it underneath here because this leaf kind of, um, it just kind of rolls over. So the shadow is underneath it, all right? There we go, same over here. All right, and then we'll blend this in just a minute. I'm just kind of laying on the color first. Again, I'm not an expert at this, so watercolor artists out there, if you're watching, I know you're cringing, but you know what? It makes me happy, and that's what this is all about. All right, when I'm done, if I'm happy with my piece, then I, I call it a day. It's just, it's a wonderful feeling, all right? And hopefully you're learning how to do this, um, and you can send out these cards, and let's get those cards out to those people. Um, that are just shut in like we are, like everybody is, during this pandemic. All right? There we go. Do you see how it's just bringing so much depth to this? It's got layers and it's, it's, just, not, it's just not flat. All right? So now let's just kind of work these in. Again, I'm a scrubber, so I'm just scrubbing in the color. And when I do that, I kind of lay this part of the brush flat and just scrub, see? And it just kind of blends in all of your, your colors. See the difference between that and that right now? So this, this line is way too harsh, so I'm just gonna take and pinch that water off and let it go. Alrighty? 
So now there's a couple different things that we can do, all right? So if you followed me on the first video with the, the pencils, we can actually add pencils to these, which would make it even more beautiful, which I will at the end. But before we do that, I'm gonna take, clean off my, my brush, because I'm gonna go back to this part up here and show you how we can make it jump even more, all right? So let's go back to our darkest color and add that really vibrant color and just scrub it in. So what I'm doing is just lifting it and bringing it up, all right? Without leaving any harsh lines. There we go. Oops, wrong color. Yep, yeah, no, that's it. Okay, here we go. Get that color right in there. I am gonna add some blue because it just makes it even more gorgeous, all right? You see how I'm just kind of, we want to get more down here at the bottom. All right, so now what I'm doing is just putting the color darker underneath the leaves and in the little crevices. See, you see the difference? All right, now I'm gonna go even more bold and add some of our darkest, darkest blue, all right? So I'm gonna go over here to this, whoops, it's all the way over to the side over here, all right? Let's see if I can get that in the picture. Okay, and still see the little guy right here. So now what I'm gonna do is add even a little bit more right here. And These are in the deepest, deepest crevices. All right. Now do you see it popping? Oh my goodness. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I love that. I'm going to do a little bit, believe it or not, on the green too. So right here where it is the deepest of the deep crevices. And you'll notice that I'm not adding as much water with this blue. Um, I've got it so that it is almost full strength. And that's the beauty of these little pans right here. They're just so, so pretty. All right, I'm not gonna do too much more to this because like I said, um, I think it, it looks as good as it, it can get. Now, I also brought in um, some of my pencils and what I can do is I can actually add pencils to this and make it even more brilliant. Um, but that's for another day. I just kind of wanted to show you that you can add to this with the first medium. So now we've got a start on your pans. We've got a start on your pencils. I'm going to bring in, um, I started this one and I just want to show you how I did. I'm going to move this up just a little bit so that I have um, room here. I want to show you um, how I did the uh, little, the little um, watering can. All right. So I'm going to clean my brush again. I'm going to add another because that's all dirty water now. I'm just gonna take and add another. That's why I like to have that little that little thing of, of water there because um, it's just it it's so helpful that you don't have to keep running to the sink. All right, so now let's let's work on this little guy right here. So I'm gonna take um, my gray, and this is my lightest gray right here. This is the industrial diamond. And I'm just gonna take and just kind of whitewash like I normally do, but remember, you're not gonna whitewash the whole thing because you want some light in here, all right? So what I'm doing is kind of staying to the outline, always dipping into um, your water first because you just don't want it too light. And you see how I'm scrubbing. So I'm going from the side, don't get your little, don't get your little ladybug there, and then just scrubbing it into the middle. So it's darker and I'm laying most of the ink on the side and pulling it to the inside, all right? So those of you that have this stamp, grab it and work right along with me, all right? We're gonna take and we're gonna grab, all right? We're gonna, don't worry about like the harshness of the lines because we're gonna work all of those in there really, really well. And like I said, the reason we're doing the outside of this is because the can is rounded and you want most of the um, darkness uh, on the outside so it, it makes it look like it's not flat. All right, and we're gonna adjust all of these in just a little bit, but um, 
we got the foundation laid down. All right. Just a little bit here and there. All righty. So now, <clears throat> excuse me. So now what we're going to do is we're going to work on getting, a, getting it a little bit darker. And then we'll go back and add some, uh, just a little bit of color to the other points of this. But let's work on the can itself. I'm still going to use this um, lighter of the grays because remember, I watered this down. So now I'm going to go in with a little bit less water and do the darker, darker spots. So of course, we want to get all of the sides and scrub those in. All right, you see how I'm laying the majority of the color on the outside of it because that's what I want to be the darkest. All right. See how dark that is? That's way too dark. But what am I going to do? I'm going to scrub it in. Being careful not to touch that little guy right there. All right. And remember that no two pieces are ever going to look the same because um, you're watercoloring and they're just. So I just added water right here. All right. Just to kind of blend that in. And it's it's not rocket science, ladies and gentlemen. Um, you're just going to take and. Um, just color. That's why this to me is so fast. And I'm not using this for an Easter card. On the bottom here, it's going to be another I love you as a friend. I'm missing you. Um, it's going to be something that is going along with this pandemic. Because like I said, I'm trying to work smarter, not harder. And I just want to send out as many cards to friends as I can. Alrighty. So... Getting rid of all those little harsh lines just by wiggling that little pen around. I went out of the line there, but that's okay. You know how now to fix that. You're just going to take your clean water and you're going to fix it, but I'm going to add a little bit of a shadow so it doesn't matter. All right. All right. So now we've got that can. Let's just finish up uh, some of the other pieces to it. Now this is where you don't want it to be too dark. All right. So we're just going to take this and see how I'm scrubbing and see as I go up, it gets lighter and lighter and lighter. Because there's a little crevice down here, you want it to be as dark as you can be. All right? Oops, that one I got too dark. So I'm going to clean off my brush a little bit and just scrub it in so I can see. See how forgiving using a good watercolor paper is going to make all the difference in the world. Now this I want to be really light because um, it's actually shadowing up on the top. Now, let me just show you one more thing. We also carry the new um, metallic um, pa uh, pans, and I'm going to use a little bit of this piece right here. That's the silver, and I'm going to just show you how you can make it actually shine. All right, so I'm just going to take this one. I, you can't see it, okay? I'm just going to take a little bit of that and kind of add it to this part right up here and it gives it just a little bit of shine and luster uh, but this isn't this isn't a can that's shiny just a couple pieces where the um, sun is shining on it all right I'm gonna take and add a little tiny bit so lots of water um, right here whoops that's not enough water so I'm just gonna take and clean off my brush take what I already have there and move it around all right, now I've got a big pool of puddle of water right here. I'm, I'm actually showing you that because look at how it all just soaked right in. And what was dark is now nice and light. All right, so what you want to look for to make dark are the, the things that are um, really got a, a crevice to it or like the inside of something. So this is the inside of the can. I'm just going to take and add quite a bit of my dark here all right and just kind of rolling these around here these are not going to be dark pieces so i'm going to keep adding water to them just let it feather out to where the the um, sun is going to shine the most all right see see how this is all taking shape now perfect 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 all right so you know how to finish up the can. Let's just add, whoops, let me just go in with a little bit more water and uh, finish up this little handle right here. See how I'm just kind of soaking it up and I want to get rid of this little line. So I've just got some nice clean water. And there we go. So cool. It just is so, so very easy. Now I started the, um, 
I started the flowers over here. Um, what I like to do is to just go along and do all of the light pink first so I know which is flowers and which are leaves. I did the same thing and that's why I didn't finish this one up because I want to show you what I'm talking about. So this one right here, I just did the flowers in pink, light, light pink, that's my base. And then I started going back and redoing all of the flowers just like I did on the um, this flower right here and just finishing it up and making it nice and smooth. So for the bunny, I did the same thing. I'm gonna clean, clean, clean my brush. I'm gonna go to the lightest brown that we have, which is this one right here. And I'm gonna just take and make my little bunny a brown bunny. Whoop, too much. So we're just gonna take and just lighten him up. All right, you see how I'm just, I'm just lightening and putting color down, but making sure that I have a lot of water because it's easier to go back and add color. Well, even with watercolor, it's easier to, to get rid of it, but okay. And then just looking to see where you want the darker spots to be. So if you're looking at this bunny, darker spots would be like under his chin okay and that's way too dark so what are we going to do we're just going to bring it out and lighten it up all right i'm going to bring in my little don't ever be afraid to erase with um a paper towel also all right so i'm just going to take and just erase i want to show you how easy this is to spread the color even after you've made it too dark. All right, and then let's see, we've got some over here. Scrub it in, so you're going from light to dark. All right, let me just show you now how I'm gonna darken these up. So um, looking at this one right here, I'll have this one done, I'll put it up on my blog. Um, it's just really cute. But I wanna go through and show you how to make these darker. So I used a different color brown, all right? And I'm just gonna kind of scrub in those colors to wherever there are um, little crevices on this little guy. So of course his, um, his hand is above and his chest is below. So you're definitely gonna add color right here. All right, darker color right there. We're gonna add a little bit more to his paw right here to show that that one's darker. All right, and then right here where he's in the can, he's behind the can. So you're gonna add a little bit of color to that. All right, and we can do the same thing going on and on and on and on and on and on, okay? So I'll show you the finished product, but I wanted to just show you a couple of different things. So we have a can here now. All right, we've got the flowers, which I showed you in several of the different um, the different uh, pictures I've already done. And then I showed you the little bunny and how cute and easy he was, all right? And now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you um, how to do, let's put these aside. I'm gonna just take and show you how to do this little guy right here. So starting with something that's new, I wanted to just point out too also, when I have little detailed things like this, sometimes I will use both mediums. So for the flowers, I would have probably used more of the pencils because they're teeny and tiny, and then I would scrub in the rest of it with my pans. So don't be afraid to mix them. And don't forget, we've got more coming with the markers. So there are so many things to do. I am absolutely loving teaching this to you. And um, wait till you see the next videos. But let's, let's just go real quick and do um, just a couple of these little guys just to show you that what I'm teaching you carries over to everything that we've done. So let's stick with the red because um, I still have a little bit of brown on my brush, but that's okay. You know, then we're gonna we're gonna fix this little guy up. All right, so let's let's do um, just two of the flowers real quick, just so that this video isn't too long. All right, way too dark. But how do you fix that? You fix that with water and scrubbing it around. But remember, this one is below that one, so it's gonna be darker anyway. All right, so we've got our base coat on. What are we gonna do next? We're gonna go, I'm gonna just get some nice clean water. All right, and we're gonna take and we're gonna add our next color. So I'm gonna go with that other color pink. Let's get those in them so you know what I'm working with. Okay, I'm going with my coral berry now. All right, can you still see this? Yep, okay. So now I'm gonna go with my coral berry. Add a little bit of that to these, but not all the way to the end, because remember, we just want it to be light on the tips. 
and where the sun shines. All right. And I always like to go down from the top. Okay. And a little bit of coral berry on this guy right here. And like I said, I'll show you all of the finished um, pictures on my blog post. All right. So make sure you head on over to there. Our shop is at teaspooneoffun.com slash shop. And uh, it's got all of these goodies in there. All right. So there's the, the beginnings of it. Now, remember, we went over to the darker part over here. We went to the darker side over here. So we're going to pick up some of this beautiful cosmic berry. And we're going to start at the bottom and just scrub this in. For now, we're just going to kind of lay it down. And then we'll go back and blend in just a moment. All right. So these are the really dark spots because this is the one that's underneath. And I didn't color the whole thing. Remember, if you color the whole thing, what's going to happen is going to go flat. So if you start with light and then you go, you color the whole thing with light and then you go with the next color and you color the whole thing, it's going to be just getting darker and darker, but it's still going to stay flat. So by leaving layers of color, you're going to take and you're going to give it dimension. All right, so we're going underneath that flower. Remember, it's got to be darker where there are where there are like little cups for the flower. All right, so let's just grab some more water, grab my darker, and let's do this again. What I like to do is to just lay the color down and then go back and blend it, and that's where um, you're going to see how pretty it is, okay? I'm just going from the top here too. Now this is one of those ones that's folded over. So we're gonna go right underneath here, nice and dark. We're gonna add some blue to this at the very end. But right now we're just gonna do underneath here. Okay. Do you see how it's starting to come together? But do you see these little harsh lines? Eh, it's good, but it's not great. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take and scrub and blend. So I'm gonna take my dark and I'm going to scrub it in and then just blend it up. Do you see how flat my brush is? For those of you that have taken my watercolor classes, you know when I come over and I say flat, 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 that's because that's what mixes the colors together. You see? Here we go. I'm going to get rid of some of that color right there. So I'm just going to erase some of it, bring it out. Look at how pretty that is. I'm so happy with it. All right. Remember, this is all about making you happy and hoping that the person that gets it gets just as happy with what you're doing. And then saying to you, did you really do that? That is gorgeous. All right. Bringing that up, let's let's take some water and blend that in. Now I can wake up tomorrow after not use, not working with this for a while, and I can say, hmm, that needs some work, and go back and you can redo it or just work on it a little bit more. But don't make yourself crazy. For cards like this, it's not like I said, rocket science. It is just a blast and a half, and. Um, that's what you want to do. So pretty. And then again, you can go back in with your with your um, you can go back in with your uh, pencils and darken some of these up. When this dries a little bit, I'm going to go in with my darkest blue and add some color, especially to these little crevices like this one right here. You can also go in with one of our little fine tip markers with which are black and add even more detail to it and that's for an upcoming video so make sure you stay tuned and watch all of them this is just number two all right we're going to have more and more and more fun because i love to color all righty how different it looks with all the different colors on there so stay tuned you're going to see what it's like when it's all done all right so make sure you hop on over to my blog thanks for stopping by remember if you like this video to subscribe click on the bell below hit a thumbs up if you really like it and share this with your friends we appreciate you so much thank you take care and have a great day